how do you automatically put your keywords within your responsive search ads? Now, what I mean by that is you might have a responsive search ad and what you want is whatever the user has typed into Google and then clicked on your ad, whatever they've typed in, you want that word to automatically appear as one of your headlines. So instead of you working out what headlines to use, one of your headlines could be an automatic uh, keyword insertion headline whereby it automatically gets that keyword and let's jump in and i'm going to show you how to do how you can do this before i do my name is aj duna i'm a google ads expert what i'd love is if you hit the subscribe button hit the notifications button so when i do create new content you'll be the first to be notified and if there is anything that you want want me to tell you about you know drop it in the comments below and i will get back to you on that and or i'll do a video on it so let's get straight into it right now so once you're in your Google Ads campaign, you can click on campaigns and then choose one of your campaigns. So I'm going to choose this campaign over here and I'm going to click on, then what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the ad group and then I'm going to click on ads over here and then ads again. And remember, this is just a test Google Ads PPC campaign so it's not a real live campaign I just use this for test purposes only and then once you're in your ad you click on the pencil symbol here and you scroll down to one of your headlines okay so I've got an empty one over here so what I'm gonna do is you put your mouse in it and what you simply do you put you use a squiggly bracket so you put the curly bracket in and as soon as you put the curly bracket in you get this option here called keyword insertion so you click on keyword insertion and then you get your default text so what you can type in here is the keyword that the user typed in could be really long so it could be more than 30 characters if it is your default text is used so for example I could say uh, I can put it's like an alternative text right and I could say um, get in touch oops get in touch so basically if if whatever the user has typed in is too long Google will default it by using this text called get in touch and then I've got the option of saying do I want it to be sentence case type title case sentence case or lowercase so uh, with sentence case, the first letter is made into uppercase. So whatever the user typed in, the first letter is made uppercase. Title case, um, every letter, uh, every first letter is made into uppercase, and then you've got lowercase. So I'm going to leave it as sentence case for now, and then I'll click on apply, and then you get this format over here. So it said squiggly brackets, keyword, colon, and then my default text and then it's got the closing squiggly bracket. So what that will do is that if this headline is chosen, then Google will replace this headline with whatever the user has typed in. And if whatever they've typed in is too long, it will simply uh, use the words get in touch. So that raises the question, why use keyword insertion in the first place? And it's simply because it increases the relevancy of your ad. So if someone's typed in something and they see their keyword in your ad, they're more likely to click on your ad. And that is one of the most common reasons why people use keyword insertions to make your ad seem more relevant to what they're typing in. So I hope you found that video useful. It's a very short video, but it is a very commonly asked question. So hold on there and hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications button. And if you do want to learn more about how Google Ads works, what I recommend is uh, there'll be a link somewhere around this video. You can get this book shipped right to your door. It's called How to Win Customers with Google Ads. It teaches you everything that you need to know about how to create successful Google Ads campaigns. There'll be a link somewhere below. The book is free. The only thing you need to do is to cover the shipping costs and we'll ship the book right off to you. I look forward to seeing you on another video. Goodbye for now.